obviously this situation with the Astros and what's going on in um, baseball, uh, apparently they are going to grant the players immunity um, if they are <laughs> honest and, t and testify and tell what's going on with the scandal. That might have been it too. They might have, you know, might have been something mixed up with that. They want to take the pressure off of the Astros. So they said, let's <laughs> change the narrative. Had them talking about Jeter not getting a unanimous vote. And then maybe people will forget about what the Astros just did. Yeah. Uh, so they, they did grant the players <laughs> immunity. Uh, we talked about it. Obviously, we went in detail last week about the, just the, all the different layers to this scandal. Mm -hmm. um, I think you kind of had to grant the players immunity. Yeah. Uh, not to say that they deserve the pass, but in order for you to get something, you got to give something. And the players really didn't have to speak with the commissioner's office, yeah. especially if they knew they were going to be punished for speaking. Mm -hmm. So you kind of had to give them that in order to get to the bottom of the scandal and find out who was at the core of putting this whole operation together. Yeah. That's what they were able to find out. Um, Plus, you know that it's going to take way more than just players to make this actually happen. It's absolutely. It's going to be people higher up. Right. Yeah. So, of course, if something happens at your job, it's going to be your boss and the higher ups that are going to be held responsible also. Yeah. So. But, but it, I, it's crazy. So we, we're we acknowledging that, that they've acknowledged their guilt. Yeah. But nothing's going to happen to them. The well, is that I mean that's basically what we're the, saying, right? Yeah, but we knew that because the tough part about this was determining when where it started, where it started, and then where it really affected the game. Like mm. I think we all know they cheated, right? Yeah. But there's no pinpoint way of saying this is when you cheated, so therefore these were the results of you cheating and you benefited from it. Right. Yeah. Because again, if you're a player, even if I use it every game, I could sit there and lie and be like, no, I used it in the month of April because I was in a slump. I right. use it, you know, like there's no way to really tell. And right. as Emerald said, in order for you to really get to the root of it and find out who was behind it, mm -hmm. you got to give something. So by granting the players immunity, that's how they found out that Alex Cora yeah. was putting the whole thing together. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that he was the one who was back there with the two so they, monitors. So they 6 9 the whole situation. Right. They 6 9 it basically. <laughs> Man, we got the chip now, so we can 6 9 you They said you're about to get violated. Uh, yeah, so we're just going <laughs> to drop the dime. Right. You know, who cares? That, yeah, that, that's crazy. But I will say this. I mean, I sent you guys the the little photo in the uh, in the group chat with uh, the, the stats of Altuve, mm -hmm. uh, McCann, and uh, oh my god, I can't believe I'm drawing a blank right and now. And it was uh, Correa. Yeah, and Correa, mm -hmm. and the difference between their home batting average and their road batting average, and it's ridiculous. The yeah. the the gap. I mean, we're talking about right. with uh, Altuve, 417 at home to 1.130, something, you know? Yeah. That, it's, still, it, it's still not enough. It's mm -hmm. still not enough. Because, we, again, we can't pinpoint when, 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 was the sign, when were the signs stolen, when yeah. did they benefit from them. Uh, we also got to take into account pitching. Who did they face right. on the road compared to home? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, again, I'm not saying that it didn't help them. Yeah. But to pinpoint, it's not as simple as football where I know your play so I can now shut you down for 60 minutes because yeah. everything you wanted to do I already know what's coming. Yeah. Baseball is tougher. You you steal the sign, okay, and what if every pitch I threw was a ball when you stole the sign? Now here's, mm -hmm. all right, so here's, so, all right, in these investigations when they're talking to the players and they're granting them immunity mm -hmm. if they testify, are they not speaking about the players that was involved? Like, is, are they not asking those questions? Like, which individual players and when were they were they uh, using the system? I'm sure they were. So but then, yeah. that's what I'm saying. So now it's kind of mind-boggling because if you if you know all this, if you have this information, mm -hmm. and you have the opportunity to get this, then how can we not punish them? Because again, it's still tough to pinpoint when it was being used. No, no, but I'm saying if I'm if I'm in yeah, the but investigation you're not gonna, and I'm asking you, no one's going to be completely honest and say I used it on this specific day yeah. against this specific pitcher. They're going to be very vague about it. They're going to say, say I used it. I I used it two times in the month of April. I don't remember the exact days, but I used it. Cuz remember, if you're an everyday baseball player, you're getting 500 at bats. Yeah. yeah so so right. unless yeah. you really were one of those guys every time you bat it like, "Hey, make sure you bang on that trash can when I go up there." Yeah. <laughs> you know, a guy could easily <laughs> say, "Oh, no, you know what? I, I fell into a little slump in the month of May, so I used it for for a few weeks to mm -hmm. get out of a slump." Yeah. Or Guess what? We were facing Clayton Kershaw, and I know I had never had success hitting him before, mm -hmm. so I'm going to use it this day. Yeah. And it's hard to also pinpoint which players, if everyone was even right. partaking in this form of cheating. So with a big team like that, you know, obviously you're going to be guilty by association, though. Right. So the whole... It's like if I say, 
hey, no, I, I know for a fact Emerald used it 20 times last year. I know because we spoke about it. Then they speak to Emerald. Nah, I used it more like 10 times. You know, we spoke about it, but I only used it 10 times. Yeah. And then, but you know what? Trip did use it about 50. I remember mm -hmm. us speaking about it a lot in, in, in July and August. Yeah. And then they speak to you. Nah, I only spoke to Eric about it. I never really spoke to Emerald. So now it becomes all these intertwining stories. Yeah. And it's kind of hard to pinpoint. But if you know who was operating it, which they know in Alex Cora, yeah, that, I mean, you come down you, hard on him. You can't yeah. get around. Yeah. And of course, they're getting, you know, the bulk, we spoke earlier about the bulk of the attention is going to the Astros because of the, because of the success they've had. Right. But there are other teams that have been, you know, listed in this report. Yeah. So. Well, Trip, Trip, that's sensitive, you know, because Trip don't, you know, we don't know how much the Yankees were in it, but they were they in the report. In, they, they, were, <laughs> they were in the report, Trip. They were in, they they were in the report. Don't try, to, don't try to sully Derek Jeter's. No, 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 stop. Into the whole thing, which is blasphemy right now. See, this is what Trip does. All right, don't I speak bring that, nice don't, about the Yankees. Don't, listen. I spoke highly of Derek Jeter. Don't bring that negativity Jeter. around me right now. I spoke highly of Derek Jeter. Don't bring that negativity I have no around issues with, me, Eric. Don't we throw Derek Jeter into already. this. No, because right now we, we're talking about Derek Jeter and the Astros. Don't take don't away from Derek that Jeter into this. To try to blaspheme the Their name is on the report. So what? You can Google it. That's Rain like that's it. like when 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 you you know you out in the street and you selling you selling some things that you ain't supposed to and you get caught <laughs> and you just start naming everybody's name that's not even involved. No, but it wasn't even out. the Houston Astros that said that. Yeah. How you know? This, because look at the report. Uh, nah, that's through what, their investigation. What, yeah, but they trying to twist words. So around. so how did no, the Dodgers they get in? Investigated once it came up. Right. Once it was brought to light. They and started they investigating every team. And they were name dropped. So just take that. That's out. what I'm saying. They was they was name dropping, but that's false accusations. So the Dodgers the yeah. Dodgers the Dodgers were accused by Milwaukee during the season. And then the that's Dodgers. What I'm saying. Whoever accused the Yankees was just hating. So it had to be. So, so nobody that's was taking on Houston. Saying. And no, they admitted it. <laughs> what you mean? Nobody they didn't admit it. They had a player who snitched on they them. Just, yeah, exactly. The he players. Them out. No, 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 but the players, that's why no. they have immunity. Mike Fryers, their former pitcher who's in Oakland, dimed them out. Right. It wasn't like the players themselves so coming out and saying, hey, by the way, he we were still a player. Assigned. He was on the team, so he knew so what they So how you know a former Yankee? Because they said they were multiple nah, Yankees. First of all, they said in the report. Cold, it's cold when you go into that in the report, organization, it's like joining the Illuminati. In the it report. It don't work like that. In the yeah, report. The Yankees, it wouldn't even have been a Yankee. If you, look it up, if you look up the report, you can Google it. That's crazy. There were multiple Yankees who wanted to remain anonymous mm -hmm. who said, yes, we had a system as well. If they was anonymous, how well, can we'll we? See how oh, they were now, Yankees. now because anybody, anybody could just throw in the pinstripe and say well, I'm a, a Yankee. Apparently, they got immunity too. Then, right? They didn't, they have nothing to do with this. Oh, now don't, they have nothing to do with it. Don't you sell it again? Don't you sell it, Derek Jeter's night? This is Derek Jeter's night here. This show is dedicated to Derek Jeter and his Hall of Fame enshrinement. And you're not gonna sell the Yankees' name while he's up. You know, going into the Hall of Fame. I'm not I gave Derek Jeter all the respect in the world. I don't know what this guy's talking about. This is your African king of comedy, Michael Blackson. You're watching Real Friends Real Talk. Get real with it, my son.